The Callisto Protocol is quickly climbing my most anticipated games of the future. And guys, I want to go ahead and take this segment of the show to talk about everything that we know so far about the Callisto Protocol, the up and coming title that's being compared to, to games like Dead Space. And one of that's one of my favorite horror titles of all time, guys. But like I said, this title is becoming really quickly one of my most anticipated titles of the future, like State of Decay 3 and other games, of course, in the horror genre. And so I want to talk about it, guys. I'd love to get your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below about what you think about the Callisto Protocol so far. So let's get into it. And an article, guys, written by Samuel Tolbert of Windows Central, the creator of an iconic horror franchise, returns to the genre. One of the big reveals during the Game Awards 2020 concerned a new horror game called the, P the Callisto Protocol. Coming from a Dead Space co-creator, it instantly excited horror fans with the promise of a spiritual successor to the beloved franchise. It's still early in development, but there's a ton to glean from the reveal trailer, as well as the comments of developers working on the game. So, uh, the trailer, first of all, guys, was absolutely incredible. I thought that it was unnerving you know, terrifying in a number of different ways, certainly gave you those Dead Space vibes. It, it, it's definitely exciting, guys, for sure. Now, what is Callisto Protocol? The Callisto Protocol is a third-person, single-player survival horror game. It's being developed by Striking Distance Studios, a subsidiary of Krafton, which also own PUBG Group, or PUBG Corp. Glenn Schofield, co-creator of Dead Space, co-founder of Sledgehammer Games and CEO of Striking Distance Studios, stated that we've built a world-class studio of passionate developers that is ready to once again tackle one of our all-time favorite genres, survival horror. We're setting out to make one of the most terrifying games of all time, and we can't wait to share more about the Callisto Protocol next year. Trailer was terrifying, guys. Absolutely awesome. Now, here's the deal. This is where it gets interesting, guys. We don't know much about the story right now, but the Callisto Protocol is set 300 years after the events of the rest of the Pub G universe, or 2320. It takes place in the Black Iron Prison located on the Callisto moon of Jupiter. So, how crazy is that, guys? This is in the same universe as Pub G, which is very interesting because you wonder... With the Callisto Protocol being in that same universe and being confirmed to be in the same universe as PUBG, does that mean that with updates to PUBG in the future, will there be some hints to the Callisto Protocol? Will this be somewhat of kind of like what Call of Duty is doing where they're incorporating their new Call of Duty games into Call of Duty Warzone? Is it you know, something kind of similar to that, where PUBG will kind of slowly but surely transition into, you know, parts of the map have, you know, pieces of the Callisto Protocol written all over it, or how will that work? The big question is, will they use the, the Callisto Protocol and PUBG to kind of cross-promote each other? Similar to like what Apex Legends could do with promoting, say, a Titanfall 3, or a Call of Duty Warzone can do with promoting Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War or the next Call of Duty. It's a very interesting concept that I can't wait to really dive more into. And actually, even though I'm not a huge fan of PUBG, it's kind of getting me to want to continue playing it just to see what happens as, as we get closer and closer to the release of the Callisto Protocol. The character in the trailer has a kind of diegetic health interface on his neck, which instantly recalls how the HUD in Dead Space was immersively uh, designed around the character. Based on the trailer, the prison is in disarray with something horrific stalking the inmates. The monster has a humanoid shape and on close examination appears to be an infected human. Whether this thing is alien or human made in origin is unknown, but we'd seriously guess the former. We also see a mysterious figure watching a control panel with cameras, possibly the prison warden. Meanwhile, an operator tells a ship called the Sharon to begin landing, which we see as the trailer ends. There's also a glimpse of the domes that presumably make up the livable section of the prison. 
So uh, very interesting stuff, guys. From an interview with Polygon, Schofield was drawn to using the moon of Callisto due to the setting, which is theorized to feature an entire ocean trapped under a massive amount of ice. We know the game is third person and will almost certainly use a HUD similar to that of Dead Space. Schofield told IGN that the graphics are just freaking amazing now, while the 150 plus developer team is working to make this game the scariest title on the latest generation of consoles. And I'm super excited about that, guys, because, look, obviously there's some terrifying titles out there, but uh, we haven't had anything incredibly terrifying since Dead Space. I could argue The Last of Us had very eerie and terrifying elements to it. We could argue Resident Evil... Um, Biohazard, Resident Evil 7 Biohazard was an absolutely unnerving experience. I believe it was the scariest game ever made. The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part 2 are certainly right up there in that ballpark, but Dead Space is up there as well, guys. Absolutely terrifying experience. I would love to say that the Callisto Protocol is in that same company, um, and I'm hoping that they knock it out of the park. They've got the right people, though, with Glenn Schofield, obviously, you know, being here at the helm uh, certainly gives me a lot Lot of promise, but that also brings up a lot of a lot more pressure now to really knock this thing out of the park because there are expectations now that go with a title like the Callisto Protocol. Schofield, Schofield also notes that the main focus of the game is immersion, stating we're trying to make you really feel like you're in this world, even though it's you escaping from this prison and you've got to survive these unthinkable horrors. So I'm excited about that, you know, um, it sounds, you know, it sounds very, you can just imagine how terrifying it is going through this prison, um, different than, you know, going through the hallways of the Ishimura, which of course in dead space guys, or, you know, other, you know, you know, it's different being in a prison than it is to be say in a ship or, you know, on some, you know, somewhere else. I mean, being in the confines of a prison is something I'm very interested to, without a doubt guys, uh, you know, kind of go through and experience. What platforms is the Callisto Protocol coming to? The Callisto Protocol is coming to PC and consoles with no exact plat platforms mentioned. With that said, it's easy to sur surmise that it will release on Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, uh, and PS5. There's possibility that it will be on Xbox One and PS4, but obviously we'll have to kind of wait and see on that. Now, a huge question people are asking, and obviously they have... Um, they have confirmed this. Is the Callisto Protocol set in the world of PUBG? Yes. Strange as it sounds, the Callisto Protocol is set in the same universe as any other narrative games for PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds. Striking Distance Studios, the company developing the game, was created to specifically craft narrative games in the PUBG universe. Don't get too concerned about that, though, as it's a completely different kind of game. Think about it like this, guys. Rainbow Six... Uh, Siege is, of course, kind of like PUBG, and then in comparison, obviously, they're not the you know even close to the same type of uh, style game. But when we look at PUBG, it's kind of like the Rainbow Six Siege, and then Rainbow Six Siege obviously is having what is going to be Rainbow Six Quarantine, which is kind of like the horror side of Rainbow Six. PUBG's is going to be the Callisto Protocol. So kind of a, a comparison there um, between those two. I thought of immediately when I heard that this Callisto Protocol was in the same world as PUBG, I immediately thought of Rainbow Six and what they're doing with that universe. Very interesting, guys, and I'm, I'm all for it, guys. I'm all for taking these universes and, and kind of building off of them and creating, let's just say, horror titles out of them. I think it's absolutely awesome. When is the Callisto Protocol's release date? The Callisto Protocol has a release window of 2022, so it'll be a while yet before it's ready. Um, a Red Band trailer obviously has come, but there is going to be more information shared throughout 2021. So, very exciting stuff, guys. I mean, look. This is easily one of my most anticipated games of the upcoming years. I'm, I'm so excited to hear more information about it, see gameplay, and all of those things. This has real possibility, guys. Um, even the name itself, look, uh, it's a different kind of name, the Callisto Protocol, but it's different, and I, I'm all for 
there being differences, guys. Um, I just don't want them to make the same mistake that they made with Dead Space. That being kind of being behind the curb when it came to co-op, when it came to trying to add multiplayer modes and things of that nature, release the Callisto Protocol as a full package like Gears of War. Make it a full-blown campaign. Make it have, obviously, co-op modes and multiplayer modes all at launch. Even if it's going up against waves and waves of enemies like you do in Gears of War's Horde mode, having that, you know, would have gone so far with Dead Space, um, I believe. But, you know, just having a single player story, I don't think it's going to cut it, at least for me. Being a huge horror fan, I want more. After you're done playing that single player story, I'm really hoping that they have other things that you can do within this universe. It'll be very interesting to say the least because it's probably not going to be an open world scenario because you're going to be confined inside of a prison. So uh, I would love to have other modes outside of the single player story. But let me know, guys, in the comment section down below, what do you guys want to see in the Callisto Protocol? Let me know. And for more of the Callisto Protocol content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.